It's an organisation which is changing lives and now Volunteering Bay of Plenty is preparing to launch a branch in Rotorua in addition to its existing base in Tauranga. Taking on the pivotal role of Relationships Manager is local woman Katie Rowland. My role is to connect volunteers to organisations and other non-for-profit to make a difference within the community and give those organisations the support they need to, to reach their full potential. It's a part voluntary, part paid role, and while Roland has spent less than a month in the role, she's wasted no time getting stuck in. With, with the schools, what my plans are is to um, get some of the students involved and get corporate businesses involved and do a student volunteer program to get them um, experience and knowledge in industries that they're looking to go into in the future. And then we can provide a social CV and set this up on our data database and that can go towards their, their CV when they're applying for colleges or jobs in the future. The benefits to volunteering are widespread. Recent research from a survey by Volunteering Australia suggests that those who volunteer regularly are more likely to find it a positive experience than those who volunteer infrequently. There's research that proves that if you volunteer your mood is lifted, depression rates are a lot lower, you've got a lot more self-esteem and self-worth. Chief Executive Vanessa Lister says they're excited to be connecting with some of Rotorua's unsung heroes. At Volunteering Bay of Plenty we believe that every volunteer is a superhero mm. and every superhero needs a cape and so we talk about the acronym CAPE, C-A-P-E, we connect people we advocate for the sector, we protect the communities who are involved, their rights and their obligations, and we bring education around the volunteering sector. Maya Levinson is the organisation's operations manager. She has volunteered for a number of years, including working with Alzheimer's in Tauranga. She says COVID restrictions have isolated some of our most vulnerable people who are often just looking for a friendly face. We just come to have a chat, have a cup of tea, sometimes we can take them with us for a walk and just uh, be a friend because um, when people are diagnosed with dementia, sometimes friends stop visiting, it becomes a bit difficult, um, the stories are repetitive, um, some things, uh, communication is difficult and we're just there to be a friend and some of them feel very isolated, especially with COVID, with some of the families are living in different uh, cities in uh, New Zealand, cannot visit their parents. We are the person they see, not the only person, but it's nice to have someone visiting you for a cup of tea. The Rotorua Hub will launch on the 1st of March on Arangi Uru Street. Delilah Whaiteri, Local Focus.